Recast. Oh, you, you almost... There it is. He's hooked. Today's Sportsman's Adventures takes us to the tropical paradise of Central America's Guatemala. This country is rich in tropical vegetation, extraordinarily beautiful vistas, and towering active volcanoes. Nice fish, too. Oh, nice. Look how pretty that is. Guatemala is also the sailfish capital of the world, where it's possible to raise, catch, and release more than 40 sailfish in a single day. But sailfish won't be our only target because summertime fishing in Guatemala also improves the chances of encountering blue marlin. Captain Rick Murphy has fished these fertile waters on many past adventures, but has never caught a marlin. We'll start with the sails and wait, look, and hope for the blue. Straight down, that's it. He sees it now. Two of them, two of them. Oh, you gotta eat it again. Three cats. Oh, you, you almost. There it is. He's hooked. Nice job, bud. He made him mad now, Eric! Boy, he's windshield wiper! Hooked in the bill! There he goes. Man, this is really one of my favorite places to fish in Guatemala. And you saw how really good those crews were and the captain. The reason why it's one of my favorite places is because of how great they are. Oh! He's shaking his head trying to get rid of that. But I gotta say, I've been to a lot of places in the world and I'd say the reason why I like Guatemala so much is because of that reason right there and because of these guys and the team that they are. They're the best mates and captains in the world. And the reason why is their experience on a daily level is more than we probably get in Florida in a whole season. These guys sometimes see 40 and 50 sailfish and hook that many in one day. So that's one of the reasons why I love Guatemala. Now one of the things that I also like is being able to fly fish for him because look at the acrobatic display that this fish is doing. He's out there tail dancing. He is mad as hell because that fly is in his face. Big Arbor Reels, gotta be able to take up drag. That fish was smoking back at me. Here we go. Going back on him. Woo! Now it doesn't matter whether you want to fly fish or bait fish, there's the release, the leader in the tip. The point is that you get a lot of great opportunities. Watch him come here and head shake. That you saw right there is about four or five minutes from start to finish. And now we got a sailfish laying right here beside the boat. Nice shot, bud. Man, I guess it was here, there, there, and up here. <laughs> Thanks for finding me a bunch of fish, Eric. Good job. No worries. Always a pleasure. That second one was hot too. He was yeah. Marvin was teasing him up I on saw the him. value while you had that one on. We'll I was catch. getting ready to yell double, double, double. We're gonna catch him right now. That's what it's all about. You come here and you get lots of shots. 
That's why Guatemala, even in the month of August, right now, is red hot. The, the opportunity is just endless. We catch dolphin, tunas, sailfish, and even blue marlin this time of year. One sailfish released, and in Guatemala, it doesn't take long for number two to come along. Okay, cast. He's there. He's there. Tackle him. Came out, Eric. That's right, he's gonna eat it, it again. He's come up behind it. I gotta right. get up on the other side of him. He's got the ballyhoo. Just get that, get your fly set back up. Get ready for a recast. He's on, he's on the ballyhoo. Two of them, there's two of them. Here he comes, Marvin. Viene, viene. Cast. Ty, let it go. He's got another one coming in right now. Three of them there. Oh, what a bite. Great job, Rick. They're swimming there. all over the place. Oh, come on, get it in there. He's fitting down there. He's shaking his head. I'm just trying to bury the hooks. Bill, got those bills as hard as a rock. Depending on where you get them, you just keep jabbing and jabbing and jabbing. Look at him, he's windshield wiper. Look you. at him up on the surface. Nice fish, too. Oh, nice. Look how pretty that is. He's shaking his head there going, man, I ate some bad food. Let's get him, get him, get him, get him, Eric, get him. Try to get the release. Oh, there he goes, watch out. Gonna take off now. He didn't like this old Merrick coming down on it. Look at that, look at that, Dan. Wow, look at his head shake. Look at the rod tip going violently through the air. It was a total of about two and a half minutes since I caught the last one. And here we are, hooked up again with a triple at the back of the boat. That's why I come to Guatemala. And it doesn't matter whether you're a fish and fly, you don't have to be intimidated. You can catch one, even if you've never fly fished. That's how good these crews are. But if you don't, and you want to just catch them on bait and see how many you can catch in one day, here's a place where you can probably catch 50 in a day on bait. A lot of boats have. The record here is somewhere around 80 or 90 in one day on one boat. Bigger Arbor reels, they're a necessity because when this boat goes in reverse, we start hauling ass backwards, guess what? You gotta be able to gain line. And when you're talking about a one-to-one -one retrieve ratio, you gotta have something big that can gain a lot of line. And these loop reels, the big opti, is definitely the reel of my of choice for me. Along with this 15 weight Blue Water Series Biscayne, that's really the ultimate sailfish marlin outfit. Look at the look at the pressure I can put on this fish. Got it. What constitutes a release is when the rod, the leader comes up into the rod tip. When the fish jumps, you got to bow to him. It gives him slack because that fish is 80 pounds out of the water. And let me tell you, he can break that line in a second if I don't give it slack. Give it as much slack as I can. It gets back down in the water. I want to go back to fighting him. Now Eric's gonna get on the reverse, put it in R for race backwards, and here we go. Using the big loop, I can gain that line back very quickly. Look how fast I can gain this line. As fast as he can go, I'm gaining line. That's what good products will do for you. Nice short pumps to keep the belly to a minimum. We're gonna get here close. Should have him laying beside the boat here in just a second. Oh, wore through the leader, look. Perfect. No matter whether you're using conventional, whether you're using spinning rods, or using a fly rod, it's the short pumps is what gets the belly out of the line.
Well offshore, we settle down for the hours ahead, hour after hour of waiting and watching baits. As we troll, we relax, enjoying the vast waters, always alert. Marlin! He's after the bait on the port rigger. Get the rod and the gimbal, George. He's hitting it. Snap out the line, Bill. Strike! Lean into that rod, George. Man, he'll go 600 pounds if he'll go an ounce. He's going down, straight down and deep. That's it, back down the boat. Here comes the leader wire. Let's move in fast. Time to finish this thing off. Watch that sword. No baby to play around with. Yes, George, he was plenty big. Homeward bound. Moments to remember of our team's tussle with the mighty blue. Sportsman's Adventures is brought to you by Florida, the fishing capital of the world. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Rapala, Williamson Lures, Maverick Boats, Minn Kota, Humminbird, La Jolla Resort, Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. So, which one are you thinking about? I can't decide between Sumo and Gladiator. Well, Sumo has incredible balance thanks to his low center of gravity. Although, you can't go wrong with Gladiator. No one is braver or stronger than he is. I think you should choose Gladiator. I'll take Sumo. Rapala, Extreme Action x rap Extreme Netmen sold separately. Why is Yamaha your best investment? Just ask charter boat captain and tournament angler George Mitchell. No matter where I fish, I know I've got the strongest, most reliable outboard there is. For 25 years, Yamaha's innovative technology has produced the best outboards in the water. Tournament after tournament, win after win. The Yamaha F350. Power, reliability, and fuel efficiency. Yamaha. Because your best investment starts right here. Fish are gonna need a new place to hide. Exclusive side imaging from Humminbird. Scan more water faster with 480 feet of side-to-side -side coverage and see structure detail with amazing picture-like images. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. The new Riptide SF from Minn Kota. Its ruthless new mount features an anodized aluminum mono arm with uncompromising strength. A counter-tension stabilizer with no play and no give for whisper quiet operation. And lift assist for effortless stow and deploy. But it doesn't just sound tough. It's battle tested to help you tear through everything from heavy chop to corrosive salt water. Riptide SF, the assault on salt has begun. I'm Captain Rick Murphy, and when I'm in the Florida Keys, I stay at the La Jolla Resort in Isla Mirada, a place for families and fishermen. The La Jolla is located on the bay at mile marker 82.2 and has easy access to the Everglades. The flats of Isla Mirada and the offshore reefs are just minutes away. The La Jolla Resort has great dockage, boat ramps, barbecue pits, and swimming pools. So whether your group is small or large, the La Jolla can take care of all your needs. Our host for this Guatemala billfish adventure is the spectacular Casa Vieja Lodge. This classically styled sportsman's retreat caters to anglers from around the world who expect and get the finest in both sport fishing and comfortable accommodations. This private lodge is surrounded by landscaped gardens and tropical foliage for the ultimate in privacy. The bedrooms offer either a king-size bed or two queens with your own private bath. The Casa Vieja Lodge has its own air-conditioned restaurant and bar with gourmet chefs that cook up the finest cuisine on Guatemala's west coast. The Casa Vieja Lodge was designed by lifelong sportsmen who believe that world-class fishing deserves world-class accommodations, regardless of how far away you are from home. The lodge also sports its own fleet of top-notch fishing boats, which are run by highly experienced and respected captains. Time no see. It has been. You doing all right? How's it fishing? Good, man. Fishing's awesome. 
Captain Eric Lorenzen aboard the release was an awesome captain and coach and shows us that you don't have to catch them all on fly if conventional tackle is your choice. That's the cool thing about coming down here. You know, you don't have to just fly fish. If fly fish is not your thing, we got a double header on. Here's a second one right here. Then you can come down here and drop a ballyhoo back to them. And guess what? It's one, two, three. Dolphin, sailfish, yellowfin tunas, the blue marlin. All of those guys live right here off of the volcanoes in Guatemala. And I got to say, it is just so awesome. So awesome. Look how smooth that drag is just cranking out, boy. Looking good. Oh. Now let me tell you one of the things that they're doing here. They use the circle hooks. And the key to circle hook fishing is you have to just put the reel in gear and let it come tight. Otherwise, what ends up happening is the hook itself won't slide to the side and hook him in the corner of the mouth. Now all it is the only thing left to do here, just whine and get your line back. Remember, short pumps, no matter whether you're using conventional, whether you're using spinning rods, or using a fly rod, it's the short pumps is what gets the belly out of the line. We're getting ready to catch this one though. You're gonna see him up close and personal. Add a little extra drag with my hands. Because remember, if I manually crank that lever, what happens is if the fish takes off in surges, I can't physically back the drag off faster than I can just remove my fingers. By removing my fingers, now I can put a hurting on him without jeopardizing breaking him off. Add a little extra drag. You're gonna jump right here. Come up and do a head shaker for me. <sighs> Always it's that last 20 feet. And I gotta say, the one thing that I'm impressed with with the guys down here, the captains, the mates, is they really practice conservation. They take really good care of the fish. They don't pull the fish out of the water. Unless maybe it's your first sailfish. That is a big sailfish right there. Big one. That's how you catch them in Guatemala. Woo. Now I gotta be careful that I don't break him off right here. This is where you lose most fish, right here. This Conservation Minute is brought to you by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is reminding anglers about some existing rules for the safe handling of fish that you're planning to release. Light tackle fishing is great fun, but if you're releasing your catch, be sure that you use heavy enough tackle to land the fish as quickly as possible. This helps the fish recover quickly and gives it a much greater chance for survival. After you catch the fish, try to leave them in the water and use a dehooking device. If you do have to take the fish out of the water, pick him up horizontally so you won't damage its internal organs. Revive a tired fish by holding it in the water and moving it forward with its mouth open to allow water to flow over its gills. And if you use live bait, be sure to use non-offset barbless circle hooks. It's more important than ever to release those fish in as good a condition as possible. The next angler will thank you for it. To learn more about the correct way to release your catch, log on to myfwc.com. At Contender. We've specialized in building high-performance, top-quality, custom-made boats for more than 25 years. Contender has redefined what a fishing boat can be, and we are committed to producing the finest fishing boats in the world. And there has never been a better time to get a great deal on our entire line of Contender boats. Be sure to check out our new generation T models, the 27, 31, and 33, all available with optional forward seating. We're looking forward to welcoming you into the Contender family of boats. 
patented in 2000, perfected over years of testing and real-world punishment. The Power Pole is the ultimate shallow water boat positioning tool. Swift, Power Pole deploys in seconds from anywhere in your boat. Virtually silent, Power Pole won't spook wary fish. Secure in strong current or gusting winds in up to eight feet of water. Engineered to take it with a lifetime unconditional replacement guarantee on the spike. Power Pole, swift, silent, secure. Visit PowerPole.com to find a dealer near you. I've been fishing all my life and seen some pretty cool things on the water. I've seen a 180-pound tarpon jump in my boat. I've seen giant snook slam live bait, and I've also seen super shallow redfish I can easily pull to. I've seen a lot, and a lot has changed except my boat builder, Maverick Boat Company. Make no mistake about it, Maverick makes the best technical pulling skiffs, high-speed backcountry skiffs, and bay boats in the world. Hughes, Maverick, or Pathfinder, number one for a reason. Hey there. Like your extreme net man? I love my sumo. How about you? Yeah. Wizard net man's awesome. Well, see you out there. Rapala. Extreme Action X Rap. Extreme net men sold separately. Has your Florida fishing or hunting license expired and you need it renewed now? No problem. The FWC has several services that will allow you to buy your license instantly. No matter where you are, in the woods or on the water, all you need is a major credit card. For a small additional service fee, you can purchase these licenses directly online or simply by calling a toll-free number. To get your instant license online, log on to myfwc.com or call toll-free 1-888-FISH-FLORIDA or 1-888-HUNT-FLORIDA. Why is Yamaha your best investment? Just ask Captain Buddy LaPointe. In the charter business, I can't afford downtime. My Yamaha 150 four-stroke is the most dependable, trouble-free outboard I've ever run. This clean-burning, quiet, fuel-efficient Yamaha four-stroke is the most versatile outboard in the Yamaha lineup. So invest in the best, the clean, quiet, dependable Yamaha F-150. Yamaha, because your best investment starts right here. There's the release, the leader in the tip. Captain Rick has caught over 100 sailfish, both in the Atlantic as well as the Pacific, but the blue marlin has always eluded him. His luck is about to change. The last day, the last hour of fishing, and the man in the blue suit shows up. What's happening here? is I'm just using the belt to lean back. Like, literally, like the fish. Is uh, my boat, and I'm attached to him, skiing against him. He's pulling really hard right now. If I get in trouble, see him shake his head there, what I'm gonna do is just simply back off on the drag, wait for him to get done doing what he's doing. I think he's gonna come up and jump. The, the line's elevating. Little short pumps. And the cool part about this Black Magic belt is you can get in here tight. And you use your body to lean back. Really, now it's my weight against his weight. And when he's in the water, he's definitely gonna feel my weight. The key is you gotta pace yourself. You breathe while the boat in gear and backing up. Coming up. Come on, baby, come up here and see me. The leader. Now I gotta be careful that I don't break him off right here. This is where you lose most fish, right here. So my job right here is to be ready to back off. If I get in trouble, he starts to take off, I'm gonna just back the drag off a little. Okay, easy, 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 easy. Oh, oh, the tip.
How big, Eric? How much? Wow. I see that. That's why it's so important, I guess, just to stay connected and stay tight. You're gonna tag him. Beautiful. Tag. Way to go, Eric! Thank you. I can't think of anybody better I would like to do it with. Go. There he goes! Guatemala's legendary bill fishing and Casa Vieja Lodge's great accommodations and first class service make for a sportsman's dream come true. Spending time with close friends and sharing the excitement of a great day on the water has been a rich and a rewarding experience. Perfect ingredients for another great sportsman's adventures. Check out the Sportsman's Adventures website at www.sportsmansadventures.com. Coming up next week on Sportsman's Adventures with Captain Rick see, Murphy. See, Rick, that fish has been caught before. Hmm? That fish has been caught before. Why do you say that? You've got two spots on one side. <laughs> Don't they get a spot each time you catch them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I never have heard that you one before, heard that? but I'll take it. Sportsman's Adventures was brought to you by Contender Boats, Costa Del Mar, See What's Out There, ARCD Hookers, Trigger X, Suffix Lines, Hook and Tackle Sportswear, Loop Reels, The Fish Grip, Get Your Best Grip, Lumber Rock, The Last Deck or Dock You'll Ever Buy, Ameritrail, Custom Trailer Manufacturers, and by Screen Print Plus, when image matters.